Hi, welcome to The Wine Find. Today we're talking with Nigel Westblade from the Barossa Valley. He is the chief winemaker for Peter Lehman Wines and he makes a Shiraz that can knock your socks off. It's actually a $2,000 bottle. It's called the Masterson Shiraz. It's a little bit out of reach for most of us, but it's lovely to taste and it's exciting to try. But the same gentleman also makes some brilliant wine at more affordable prices. So today we're tasting two of his $20 bottles that I think punch above their price point. Welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me. So we've got here the Barras and Cabernet Sauvignon. For a region traditionally known for making Shiraz, this is our, our interpretation of Cabernet. Cheers. Beautiful expression of the black currant mm. that you're looking for, but I'm also getting some complexity, like there's yeah. some mint, there's some cedar, there's some smokiness. Definitely, and there's a really um, underlying, like it's almost, it's the dark chocolate, but it's almost like a milk chocolate as well, character yes. going through as well, which works really well with that, the, the cassis, the chocolate, it's really some nice flavour combinations in there, and that's what you're always trying to do when you're laying in bed at night, trying to think up wine styles and what, how you're going to make these wine better tough thing to do and we spend a lot of time thinking about these sort of things. Lovely. Well, let's switch then to the Barossa and Shiraz. Barossa is known for their Shiraz. Why is that? Correct. I think, yeah, Barossa and the Shiraz go together like peas and carrots, some people would say. Mm. But it's just a um, really dry, warm climate that we have in the Barossa and really allows us to produce grapes that have really uh, power and concentration. And like I say, it's a bit like a, a velvet sledgehammer where it's very strong, but very soft at the same time. So. I love that. Let's see mm. if we can taste a velvet sledgehammer. sledgehammer. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Thanks. <laughs> mm. There's some gravitas there. Yeah. There's a little bit of minerality, like a dark, almost um, note of iron in there. Yeah, definitely. Which is just lovely because it, it makes it taste a little bit more serious. Yeah. Not just a fruit bomb, which I think, unfortunately, Australia gets a bad rap. They're often called that. But here, we've got gravitas. We've got minerality. We've got a velvet sledgehammer. Next. So this is your iconic wine. Yes. This wine is $2,000 a bottle. Correct. In Magnum or 750 ml? That's in Magnum. So the equivalent of $1,000 for a regular size bottle. And what makes this wine special? We have 117 growers. It's not unusual for us to bring in 140 to 180 different Shiraz parcels in, that, in a vintage. So we'll keep those parcels separate all the way through until the very end. At the end of vintage, we'll line up all 180 parcels and we'll taste them blind, all the winemakers, over a period of a week. If it's nice and easy or two weeks, if it's uh, proving to be a bit more challenging. The single most complete parcel goes into making Masterson. So it's a single vineyard release. It's very, whoa. Now that is, there's more of a flavor of roasted meat in this than yeah. I've ever got from a Shiraz before. It's fun to taste with uh, new people all the time because yeah, People see so many different things in this wine. It's just a, amazingly complex and everyone sees something a little bit different. So it's, wow. it's great. Well, it's one of those things where when, when great wine sort of transforms you a little bit because it becomes like experiential art. Yeah. You know, and this is one of those wines because it just keeps evolving on the palate. This is what keeps you in love with winemaking, you know, getting to make wines <laughs> like this every day. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's amazing. I'm lucky enough uh, to be one of those people. It's incredibly complex and yet it's so seamless yeah. that when you, you can miss it until you stop for a moment and are mindful of it and try to actually pinpoint a flavour, the flavour shifts. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, wait, mushroom, wait, no, wait, yeah. wait. <laughs> And it's so exciting. No, it is, because you can see all those things there. And then, and then sometimes you just go, I just want to enjoy this wine. You sit back and you let all those flavors flood over and it, it's just an amazing combination. Here's to awe yeah, and wonder. You. Perfect. So thanks for joining us. That was a great time with Nigel. If you taste any of these wines, comment below. I'd love to know what you think. See you next time on The Wine Find.